So what really gets me excited in fashion are not so basic basics. And what I mean by that is variations of a classic are interesting. For example, a Brandon Maxwell midi dress off the shoulder, army jacket flight satin. That's exciting. That's interesting. Or here, look at Sakai. Got a blazer in the front and then a jean jacket in the back. I'm sorry. Excuse me? So what I guess I'm trying to say is that variation on the trench coat are having a moment. This entire look references all the classics, but is much more exciting. Outfit number one, crop trench coat, the classic white shirt with a cap sleeve and a fitted waist. I mean, look at these EB denims. These are not your basic jeans with all the seams running through them. And last but not least, the construction boots that have a high heel. Oh yeah, before I change, I have to give a shout out to Jennifer Bear. This is the most comfortable headband I've ever worn. Totally juxtaposes against the masculine trench. Who well, not so basic basics is off to a really good start. Is it a sweatshirt? Is it a dress? And why is it that a classic Glen Check peak hat works so well with sportswear? And the tongue in cheek designer boot. And last but not least, the variation on a classic trench, but no wait, it's a cape. Okay, she couldn't help throwing in the bag. The good news is both the trench cape and the crop trench are classics. Win-win.